Welcome back to online classes. Today's topic is curriculum detail arrangement. It is for four marks. It will be given under the question number 50. What is the pronunciation of uh, CV? CV means curriculum detail. This is also another term, resume. There is a lot of difference between in the format curriculum with a resume. Now, what is the definition of curriculum with a? Curriculum with a is a summary of the background, skills and qualifications which is sent to employers for review. That means, what is the mean by we had already discussed the definition. Now, in a common what is that curriculum which is a summary of the background skills and qualifications which is sent to employers for review means before attending an interview you have to submit your full biographical sketch such as your personal details skills qualifications and that etc has to be present in the form of written, written account for review. There are four terms used in the job advertisements nowadays. The one is C. What is mean by CV curriculum? Which is. The second one is resume. It is also known as or pronounced as resume. The third one is biodata. And fourth one is profile. The terms are different. One C, this is curriculum vitae, this is resume or resume, biodata, profile. The first one we see, C means curriculum vitae. What is curriculum vitae? I already told you, before attending an interview, you have to submit your personal details such as educational qualifications, skills, maybe technical skills and uh, other details you have to submit in the form of written account that is called curriculum vitae. It is a Latin origin that means it is this word curriculum vitae this word is derived from Latin language. What is mean by curriculum vitae? It means course of life. What is mean by it? It means course of life. It is a brief written account of one's qualification, experience and other personal details. It may run into two pages. May, why? Because it includes personal details too. That's why sometimes it runs into two pages, sometimes more than two. It is more comprehensive than resume. But in originally, if you look at your book, Page number 150, if you open, you come to understand and uh, curriculum vitae appears and resume appears, especially resume appears longer than curriculum vitae. But in the definition, curriculum vitae is more comprehensive than resume. But physically, resume is very lengthy and curriculum vitae is very short in your textbook. But originally, Curriculum vitae is very lengthy, it runs into two pages, but not resume. It is especially what it is, curriculum vitae is used for an academic position. Academic position means, for example, uh, there is an institution, there is a vacancy of English, you want to join as a teacher in that. Means you have to present your information in the format of curriculum vitae. Why? Because this is used for an academic positions only. The next one and the term is resume. What is mean by resume? Resume, it's a one pronunciation. It is also pronounced as resume. What is that? It is derived from the French. Means this word is taken from French language. That's why it is called as French origin. What is mean by it is just summary. It is about, the summary is about a person who is going to apply for a job and it is usually one page but 
the above curriculum video is run into two pages but it is only in one page it also includes the same information as above means the curriculum video includes educational qualifications experience and personal details as in the same way resume includes educational activities or educational qualifications of a person who is going to apply for a job as well as his personal details and his technical skills and also experience and it is used means this term is used especially for a position in the industry for example there is an industry if you want to work in the in the industry you have to present your full information means full biography before attending an interview to whom you have to present this to employer you have to present the employer will review your uh, written accounts means resume and uh, he decides whether you are the suitable person to the job or not and the term is biodata it is nothing but especially this term is used only within india it means a biographical information of a person who is going to apply for a job or a position this is used by small companies small industries and the other term is profile what is profile a profile is also indicates or it also means a portrait this portrait especially of a person who is going to apply for a job this is also a brief biography of a person and once i remind the class and once what is the definition of curriculum vitae the curriculum vitae is a summary of the background skills and qualifications which is sent to employers for review after review they decides whether you are the suitable first person to the job or not and uh, these terms i have told you the terms are of four nowadays we are using the first term is curriculum vitae second term is resume and one is biodata and one is profile especially in ipe second year exams they may ask only curriculum vitae and resume and biodata but not profile you focus on cv resume why because biodata and cv are almost the same the format is same but resume format is somewhat different profile will not be answered in the exam and now cv what is mean by cv curriculum vitae already i told you it is a latin word it means course of life this is especially used with the positions of faculty and the second term is resume this is the french origin it means summary this is used especially in positions with the industries and uh, one more point i told you that which is comprehensive more comprehensive cv is more comprehensive than resume but in our textbook resume may appears very lengthy but cv looks uh, or appears very short and the next one is biodata i already told you biodata format is as curriculum vitae and the next one profile it is italian word it means a portrait it includes the brief biography of a person who is going to apply for a job format of curriculum vitae means what is the format of curriculum vitae how to present in our answer sheet the curriculum vitae should be presented in the following format what is that first you have to mention objective what is mean by objective a position as mathematics teacher a position as science teacher a position as english teacher that which position you are going to attend the interview that position you have to mention in the column of objective the next one details details means person who is attending an interview his details name what is the name that should be or that must be presented in capital letter the next one for the name this is also must be presented in the capital means 
name should be presented in capital as well as father name should be presented in capital. These both you have to write in capital letters too. The next one, date of birth and age. Both you have to mention. Date of birth, not your original date of birth. If it used in the advertisement, the date of birth, the same date of birth you have to mention. If he did not give, you have to observe the advertisement and position and qualifications and experience. Keep these all points in your mind and you have to decide any particular date of birth and the expected age. The next one, gender, means sex, whether you are male or female. For example, you are male, you write male. The next one, marital status means whether you are married or unmarried that you have to write for example unmarried write unmarried married write married but unmarried don't divide the word unmarried is wrong okay you have to write together unmarried okay in that uh, way you have the process the next one email or phone number anyone is enough email R Krishna at the rate of gmail.com or phone number you have to write means mobile number you have to write next to full address here address presentation is of two types one is current address and a permanent address okay you have to keep in your mind what is how many marks it is for four marks time is main important in presenting of second year English question paper. That's why you don't write uh, unnecessary details. But in your original life, before in attending interview, you have to present all the details. But in the exam hall, one heading is enough, full address. Or uh, if you have any patient, you can write current address, means present address, permanent address, and permanent address. Two also we can present, or any one is also we can present. Next one, academic qualification, known as educational qualifications. This must be presented in full page in a tabular form. Tabular form means in a table format you have to present. This, first you have to write the headings, serial number, what is your qualification, where you have studied that institution name, and next one, in which year you have passed up, the duration of the academic years you have to present, and presentation means aggregate percentage. What is your percentage? What is your aggregate that you have to present in percentage? For example, your qualification is MA in English. In which institute you have studied XYZ Institute, year of pass and percentage AIT or AIT5 according to the given advertisement. Or sometimes you did not give any means in the advertisement there is no any mention of percentage you write as your own, no problem at all. And this must be consisted at least five qualifications. Means it purely depends on the given advertisement, but at least you have to present five. That means while presenting this, you have to present uh, this in chronicle order. What is mean by chronicle order? Means first you have to write high qualification, then the next highest, and the next one, and the next one. Finally, you have to finish it by writing. SSC means SSC is the least one and first you have to write highest one. Highest qualification to lowest qualification you have to present. This is must be presented in the tabular form means in the table format. Next another point is languages now. Everybody uh, must command over three languages nowadays. What they are English, Hindi and Telugu. If you have four languages includes Urdu, you may write. No problem at all. The next one, interests. What are the interests? It is also called as hobbies. What are your hobbies? You may write reading books, reading science journals, watching TV, playing chess, etc. Interests or hobbies you can write. The next one, strength. Every person has strength and weakness. But uh, weakness should not be presented in curriculum vitae and resume. What is your strength? Uh, that's when you have to present. You have to present. What is that? What is your strength? Teamwork. Hard working nature. Okay. 
this kind of uh, strength we have to mention. And the next one, experience. If you ask in the given advertisement any experience, you have to mention whether it is two years, three years, whatever it may be. If you did not give in the given advertisement any experience, no need to write. The next one, expected salary. It is not compulsory. You can write expected salary, but not in 50 slacks. Okay, according to the job, you have to write a suitable salary. Means expected salary. It may 20 or 30. And next, a reference. Means how do you get the information through the newspaper or through any person? For example, uh, about this vacancy, you have heard by any person. The person's name you can write. Or you have seen the advertisement in any daily, whether it is the e Nauru, the Deccan Chronicle, the Hans India, dated. What is the date? On which date you have observed the advertisement? That you have to write. And finally, if reference in place, you can write any daily, means name of the daily, name of the person, or simply you can write available on request. In our textbook, you can see the sentence available on request. You can complete the declaration, but it is not compulsory. Declaration. What is declaration? How to write declaration? Declaration should not write this side. Here to here you have to write. Here to here you have to mix. In full page you have to write. I hereby declare that the above furnished information is true to the best of my knowledge and belief. This is the declaration we have to mention in this place. But declaration is not compulsory. Okay? Next place. Place should not be written this side. Immediately after writing place, what you have to write here only place. Next one date. This is also must be presented immediately after the date word. Means here only you have to write, but not the next side. Next one this side. This is the left side you have to write a place and date. Right side you have to write a, or you have to mention signature. The signature not a means whether you may present in the form of name means your full name for example B. Ravi Kumar write B. Ravi Kumar or Ravi Kumar signature you keep no problem at all sign it or write your full name whatever it will be it is not compulsory but writing signature point is compulsory whether you have mentioned your sign or name is not compulsory ok next uh, final one another one covering letter ok covering letter Covering letter in real life you have to present before attending the interview, but not in the exam. The exam pattern only this is. You have to write only format of curriculum letter. This is enough. This is enough, but not covering letter. But in your uh, real life, means in your real life, if you want to attend an interview, you have to present the written account of this curriculum letter along with the covering letter. Covering letter is compulsory. That decides and the presentation of your curriculum vitae way that is also decides uh, your job opportunity. Okay, thank you.